In 2009, inspired by playing the Dwarf Fortress and Infinite Mana games, Swedish indie software coder Marcus Pearson, commonly known as Notch, generated the world of Minecraft, which was further developed by Mojang in continuous dialogue with their players. Minecraft is a multi-platform, procedurally generated 3D open world sandbox indie game made up of textured cubes each one cubic meter in size. It is a commercial franchise encasing a community of fans who co-produce and co-distribute versions of their created virtual world. Notch's respect for the game's fans is evidenced by how he put the needs of the players, both commercial and non-commercial, before profits. Player groups range from casual to serious users, aged between 9 and 70 from both genders. Deliberately set up without instructions, players turn to the vast online Minecraft community for guidance, tips, mentorship and player modifications. Notch creates a collective culture by encouraging paid players to modify his code freely and to share with others. Minecraft's terrain does take on the appearance of square blocks of different textures blocks for mountains and prairies, waterfalls or clouds, deserts and trees and bodies. Everything in Minecraft is a cube, even the sun. Sharing characteristics of a virtual world, Minecraft's spatial and contiguous nature encourages exploration and discovery, where players are not only users but also producers of their own environment and their own experience. An environment that is not ruled by predetermined expectations and where you set and achieve your own goals. In an infinite game that is determined by the player's level of interest and available time to play. Minecraft's gameplay is mainly focused on building with some aspects of survival, played through creative, survival, adventure, hardcore or spectator modes. There is always that thrill of not knowing what you may happen upon next. A day in the world of Minecraft consists of 20 minutes, 10 minutes of daylight to mine and build your shelter, 3 minutes of sunrise and sunset to ensure you are safe within your dwelling, and 7 minutes of night when zombies, skeletons, spiders and villains roam outside. In this virtual world, your body shape is the same as your fellow player, whether male or female, distinguishable only by the outfit you choose. It's a place where there are no religious or political agendas, nudity or swearing, and where violence, if chosen, is purely survival driven when fighting and slaying monsters, skeletons and oversized spiders. Play on your own or join your friends in this open-ended world to explore. Gather a mine for exotic materials and minerals to create shelter, build cities or fight off monsters. Motivational factors for playing such a game are a sense of achievement through advancement in skills, teamwork and immersion through discovering and customising your environment. The virtual world of Minecraft encompasses characteristics such as interactivity, physicality and persistence where the player's world exists on a server accessible at any time by one or many players through an interface simulating first-person play remembering the state of play. It is a free form of play to do what you want, when you want, to explore, to be unproductive, to create or to be bound by instincts to survive. Minecraft's imaginative and productive form of play encourages exploration, creativity, a sense of place, collaboration and narrative building. Narrative they share and upload to the greater public as screenshots or video clips in YouTube. Minecraft gamer networks have emerged where survival tournaments are held and other networks where large-scale projects are worked on in teams to generate replicas of museums, works of art, buildings and entire cities. For this reason, over 3,000 teachers worldwide have used Minecraft Edu in their classrooms. It is specifically designed by teachers and caters for their students aged between 5 and 18 as an educational tool in teaching arts, English, second languages, health, mathematics, science, social studies and technologies. This further adds to the development of other key competencies such as time management, behavioural learning, problem solving, knowledge sharing and production skills.